Experiment 10 to find the focal length of a concave lens using a convex lens. Introduction A concave lens always forms a virtual image of an object while a convex lens forms a real image of an object when the object distance is greater than the focal length of the lens. To find the focal length of a concave lens using a convex lens, the two lenses are used together to form a converging lens so as to form a real image. In the case of two lenses in close contact forming a converging lens, the focal length f of the combination is given by 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon f1 plus 1 upon f2, where f1 and f2 are the focal lengths of the concave and the convex lenses. The focal length f2 of the convex lens and the focal length f of the combination are separately found using the two-pin parallax method. Using values of f2 and f, the focal length of the concave lens f1 is found out. Aim to find the focal length of a concave lens using a convex lens. Apparatus A concave lens A convex lens Two lens stands Two index pins A metric ruler Procedure Part 1 The experiment is done in two parts. In the first part, the focal length of the given convex lens, F2, is found out using two-pin parallax method. Take two mounted pins having heights approximately up to the principal axis of the lens. Place one of the pins, call it the O-pin, in front of the convex lens. Place the second pin, the search pin or S-pin, on the other side of the lens and close to it. Now, looking along its principal axis from the side of the S-pin, slowly move the S-pin away from the lens till there is no parallax between the S-pin and the real image of the O-pin. Measure the distances of the O-pin and S-pin from the lens as the object distance U and image distance V respectively. They are U is equal to 33.5 cm and V is equal to 62.4 cm respectively. Repeat for two more value of U. Calculations The thin lens equation is 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon U. According to the Cartesian sign convention, U is negative and V is positive for real images. Substituting values of U and V in equation, 1 upon F2 is equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon U. Use reciprocal table to find values of reciprocals. We get focal length F2 for different sets of observations. Hence, the mean focal length of the convex lens F2 is equal to 21.9 cm. Part 2 Now let us use convex and concave lens in combination and determine the focal length of the lens combination F by the two-pin parallax method. Mount the concave lens in contact with the convex lens on the same lens stand. Place the object pin O pin in front of the concave lens. Observe the image of the O pin from the convex lens side. Place the search pin S so that there is no parallax between the S pin and the image of the O pin. Measure the distance of the O-pin from the lens combination as U 
and that of the S pin from the lens combination as V. We get our first observation. U is equal to 63.7 cm and V is equal to 62.5 cm. Repeat for two more values of U. Calculate the focal length of the combination of lenses F using formula 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon U. Hence, mean focal length of the lens combination F is equal to 32.3 cm. Now, the focal length F of combination of two lenses of focal lens F1 and F2 is given by 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon F1 plus 1 upon F2 or 1 upon F1 is equal to 1 upon F minus 1 upon F2. Mean focal length of the convex lens F2 is equal to 21.9 cm. Mean focal length of the lens combination F is equal to 32.3 cm. Therefore, 1 upon F1 is equal to 1 upon 32.3 minus 1 upon 21.9 or 1 upon F1 is equal to 0 0.030 minus 0 0.046 is equal to minus 0 0.016. Therefore, F1 is equal to minus 62.5 centimeter. Result, the focal length of the concave lens is 62.5 cm. Notes and precautions. 1. The height of the pins should be such that the tip of the search pin should appear to touch the tip of the image of the object pin. It is advantageous to start with equal heights of the object and search pins up to the principal axis of the lenses. 2. Line of sight should be continuously changed to ensure there is not the minutest parallax between the tip of a pin and the tip of the inverted image. 3. The focal length of the convex lens should be less than that of the concave lens so that the combination acts as a converging lens.